Welcome to Brad's YouTube videos. This video is going to demonstrate how to fix a error that you were, you're seeing right here. The most recent request was denied because it contained an invalid security token. Please refresh the page and try again. This is on a Joomla based website and it's very tedious and a pain in the ass dealing with this problem because uh, if you don't know how to fix it, going in and out of your website trying to change web pages or anything this will come up so randomly that you almost can't even do any work and you can't even update articles because stuff gets so screwed up. There's a way to fix this and it's so simple it's not even funny but if you don't know how to do it it can be a problem. So here's what you want to do. First thing you want to do is go to your hosting provider. In this case mine's GoDaddy. So you want to log in to GoDaddy And I'm going to go to my, go to your server or, or your web hosting, whatever you have. If you have a virtual private server or a shared hosting server, it's all the same. You just want to go to the dashboard and then go to the cPanel for your website. Go to the cPanel. And then go to PHP My Admin. This will be the database for your website. So you want the, uh, the database for your website, go to PHP admin. And then right here you have two <coughs> tables with your website information. So this is my website up here. So what I want to do is m minimize this. And what you want to search, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You're not going to find it in any of this. What you want to look for, the key ingredient is not the beginning part. That's your table name or your, your uh, database name. But what you want to scroll down to is until you get down to you see a part says session. It's all right here. This is it. So you click on this. It'll open up a whole bunch of stuff over here. Now I've already fixed my problem. But the problem is you'll see one of these, one of these entries, and on the very far right you'll see a username attached to it. It'll say admin or whatever username you have. If you see any of these, if there's multiple ones or just one, you want to delete it. So how you would delete it, if you saw, you saw an entry with the, a username, you would click the little square here and then click delete. Once it's deleted, the problem's gone. You can go back to your website and it's gonna, it'll work fine. That error will go right away. This is a pain in the ass error, but if you don't know how to fix it, it can be troublesome. And this is it's an easy fix. That's how you fix it.